All right, so I'm going to do a quick recording um, just on how to use Silhouette Studio, and I've got the business edition. Uh, but uh, somebody had a problem taking the white out of one of their pieces of artwork and getting the background. So if, if I wanted to use this background uh, with this uh, B shape, let's move this all the way to the back here. I, I wouldn't be able to see it through there due to the white. And uh, they were using a honeycomb pattern, but uh, I'm just going to do this one. So as you can see, we've still got the white in here. So to be able to get rid of that, what you're going to want to do is come over here. It looks like a little piece of toast is what I, I call it. And you're going to want to click on this trace by color. And then you can click on trace by color. And then just go select the piece that you want to take out. And you can raise this up and, and lower it down to get a better cutout, just depending. Um, usually around 20 works for me for the most part. But um, And then after you've got it, uh, the tolerance set, just hit Trace and Detach. And once you do that, you can pull that out. And then just delete it, get that out of there. Now, if uh, you want to do all these at the same time, or if you want to take all the white out of the uh, the wings and the head and stuff, uh, basically you would do the same thing. You would just hit Trace by Color, and just click on one of the white areas you want to remove, and then just go here and click All Areas. And then again, I'll use. It just depends on your artwork, but uh, on this one, it works really well at 20. Uh, I've been as high as 50 sometimes, and sometimes uh, you can go all the way up to 90, uh, just depending. But uh, once you get it set to where you want it, and you feel like you've got a good trace, uh, just hit Trace and Detach. And it'll take a second, because the more that you have traced, uh, the longer it's going to sit here with this little wheel. I've got a really good computer and it still takes a long time. That's why I don't recommend doing this kind of stuff in Silhouette Studio. Uh, I, I prefer Photoshop uh, for doing things like this, but anyway, once that goes away, now you can bring come in here and grab what you've got and it leaves all the white parts behind. So after that, you can just come in here and get rid of all that delete it because that will eat up resources so I like to get rid of this stuff we'll get rid of this little background here um, but now we can put our B on our page and then move this back behind there uh, get it just right zoom in and as you can see the 20 didn't take out all the white zoom in here a little bit better uh, you can always go in there and, and retrace that so uh, I don't know if we'll try it here just move it over here to an area and then zoom in closer and go back to your little piece of toast and see if you can grab some of that white There we go. And then uh, we'll go up to like, I don't know, 53%. Click all areas, trace and detach. We'll see if that does any better. Once it's done, we'll just kind of scroll back out here. And see, so you can see it, it removed quite a bit more. Zoom out here and get rid of that. Just grab all of it. Don't grab any of your good artwork, but grab all of that. And then we'll place RB on there. See if that does any better. You can just kind of use your arrow keys to move things around as need be. 
and there you have it easy way to get rid of the white now if you're if you're just printing the B um, let's say you have the, the B on there and, and uh, it had the white in it um, then your printer won't print white uh, unless you have a white toner printer but if, if you don't if you're just using a regular printer you don't have to worry about that white being in there unless you want something to show through it uh, then you'll need to get rid of the white otherwise the printer will just ignore it and the paper will be the white background so uh, just a, a quick little tutorial and if you guys uh, want to see more of these or whatever just uh, PM me on Facebook uh, my name's Don Goddard and you can find me on uh, the Silhouette Cameo 3 and 4 group uh, but uh, I like helping people out and and just kind of uh, making things easier for people. Thank you very much.